you know, there's something that has been getting a lot of attention lately. You mean me? People have been looking at me a lot since I had my teeth whitened. That's very nice. But I meant TMJ. Who is TMJ? TMJ is not a who. It is a what. TMJ is the name of the joint that connects your upper and lower jaw. TMJ stands for temporomandibular joint. Wow, that's quite a mouthful. TMJ dysfunction is no laughing matter. It can cause people a lot of problems, and possibly a third of the people in the United States have it. A third? Wow. What kinds of problems? One of the most common is chronic headaches. Ooh, I hate headaches. Not only that, but they can also cause aching in the jaw, cheek or teeth. I hate aching in the jaw, cheek or teeth. Or dizziness or nausea. I hate dizziness or nausea. Or hearing loss. What do you say? Or pain in the neck or shoulders. What do you say? Or ringing in the ears. What's that sound I'm hearing? Now, that was a joke. I keep trying. But seriously, this sounds serious. The TMJ is one of most complicated joints in the entire body. The patient may not even feel that their jaw is misaligned. But they feel tension in the jaw or face, neck aches, shoulder pain, and recurring headaches. Did I mention I hate headaches? They may have gone to different doctors without success and end up taking medication for the headaches but never solve the problem. So what is the problem? Most often it is a problem with the bite. The bite? The alignment of the teeth. It can be a single tooth that doesn't match up when you close your jaw, or it can be several teeth. Can that be fixed? Yes, a dentist can fix it. Sometimes simply by reshaping teeth that aren't matching up. Or with veneers or crowns. Or braces will solve the problem. Also simple mouth guards can fix the whole thing. That's what a dentist can figure out. You must be a genius. Yes, I am. Often a person who has had headaches for years will find they suddenly stop. It can be life-changing. It is amazing. That is, amazing. Now, this misalignment in the jaw can also come from a car accident, like with whiplash, or some other physical trauma. Physical trauma cannot be a good thing. Once we've determined and corrected any bite problems, the patient may also benefit by help from a chiropractor. Chiropractor? Yes. If the TMJ problem has existed for some time, the jaw, head, neck or shoulder is all the way down to the spine, even the feet could be tense and misaligned, and need assistance to relax and realign so that the jaw does not go out of alignment again. A chiropractor can help with that. Yes. It is also possible a misalignment in the spine or shoulders or neck could be causing the TMJ dysfunction. So once those are corrected, the TMJ problem goes away. Fantastic. Sometimes people go to chiropractors first when they have headaches or other problems. But if the adjustments don't solve the problem, then they should see a dentist to see if the bite may be part of the problem. It's kind of like you all work together. Well, the body's parts all work together. They are very interconnected. For example, gum disease in the mouth can seriously affect other areas of the body. Really? Yes. The body is fantastic and complex. That's why we sometimes need to involve doctors from multiple disciplines to treat it. Wow. You really are brilliant. I like to think so. Remember, regular visits to the dentist can help you discover health problems early. See you at your next dental visit. Thank <laughs> you.